Do you know how English speakers say hello in formal situations, semi-formal situations, and informal situations? This video is going to teach you over 50 ways that English speakers greet each other. And it's really important to know this because when you get off the plane or off the boat to an English speaking country, you don't want to be caught out. You need to know what people are saying to you when a conversation begins. So watch the video, learn all the phrases and get yourself ready for a conversation in an English speaking country. Let's start with the most well-known formal greetings. Hello is probably the best known formal greeting. You could just say hello on its own, or you can say hello followed by the person's name if you know it, or if you want to stay even more formal, or if you don't know the first name but know the surname, you could say hello miss, mister, missus or ms, followed by by the person's surname. And welcome is often used as a formal introduction to someone for the first time. We also have a number of phrases beginning it's. It's good to see you. It's nice to see you. It's a pleasure to meet you. These are all phrases used in formal situations to greet people. And phrases with good tend to be more formal if they're used as a greeting. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, sometimes good day in some places, but never good night. Good night is not a greeting. Good night is normally when you say goodbye. And one final phrase, how do you do? In the formal greetings, we would say, I'm pleased to meet you, or it's good to see you, or it's nice to see you. But to be semi-formal, we just take away the word it's, and instead we say, pleased to meet you, good to see you, nice to see you. It's still fairly formal, but not quite as formal as if you used the word it's before. And we could do the same with phrases such as good morning. We could make them slightly less formal by simply saying morning or afternoon, evening. These phrases are good for semi-formal situations and also informal situations. Note that we do not reduce good day to just day. You will never hear anyone use a greeting which is just day. It doesn't happen. One of the most common semi-formal greetings is, how are you? Note that this is not a genuine question. When someone says, how are you? It's normal to say, fine, thanks, how are you? The person asking it didn't really want to know how you are. It's just a way of saying hello. And the polite response is, I'm fine or fine thanks. Now, it doesn't actually matter whether you are fine or not. That is the expected response. If they ask you a little bit more seriously, how are you? Then they really want to know. And then you could say, oh, I'm having a terrible day. This has happened, that's happened. But only if they ask it a little bit more seriously. If they say it quickly as a greeting, it really just means hello. It doesn't mean a real question. Also note that hello is fine for semi-formal situations too. It's often used in that way. Now let's look at some common informal greetings. Uh, in real life, there can be some crossover be between these informal greetings and semi-formal greetings, but the ones I'm going to share with you now are good common informal greetings for you to be aware of. So firstly, hi is a, an informal replacement for hello. 
and we get phrases such as hi there or hi mate. Also, hey which is quite common in the United States, but not just in the United States. It's, it, it, United States. it's also heard in other places too. Uh, and here we have, hey, hey there, hey man, hey guys. These are all phrases you may hear people use to greet you, and they all mean hello. There are other phrases beginning how, such as how are you, how's it going, how you been, how you doing today. In the UK, but again, not just the UK, elsewhere too, um, people sometimes say, all right, which actually uh, sounds like all right, the T is often dropped. And again, this is not a real question. And the response to this is not, I'm fine, thanks. The response is also, all right. So if someone says to you, all right, you say back to them, all right. And that's it. It's simply saying hello. And we can add some other words onto the end of this, such as all right, mate, all right there, or you OK, which is really short for are you OK? But again, it's a greeting. It's not a real question. In the last 20 or 30 years, lots of new informal greetings have come into the English language, particularly through younger generations. So if you get to know a young person, they might greet you in one of the following ways. Firstly, phrases beginning with what, particularly in the USA, but it's spreading throughout the world. Uh, so what's up? What's happening? What's going on? What's new? And even what's cracking? There are also phrases with how and yo. How's tricks? How's it hanging? Yo, yo man. These are all new informal greetings that some young people use. And finally, here are some local greetings. So these are phrases which you will hear in particular parts of the world, not in every English speaking country, but in certain places where English is spoken. And as I said at the beginning of the video, these are just a few. So if you're from an English speaking region and I haven't covered a phrase you use to say hello, Put it in the comments below so we can all learn and benefit. So first of all, in the north of England, you may hear some people say, all right, Chuck. In Australia, it's common to hear, good day, mate. Again, in north England, hey up. Notice that it's up, not up. Uh, in the USA, particularly, particularly in the south, you might hear, hey, y'all. Now, apologies if you are from the United States and I didn't say it exactly as you did. My accent is considered to be RP or Southern English. So I'm having a go at these phrases, but they're not going to be exactly right because the pronunciation in other parts of the world is not exactly the same as mine. But that's a phrase you may hear in the south of the USA. In Scotland, you might hear, hi, all right. Um, widely throughout the UK, hiya. In Northern Ireland, you might hear, how's about you? In the USA and Canada, howdy. In Ireland again, how ya? In South Africa, how's it? And in Ireland again, yeah boy. Just a few phrases you may hear if you go to these particular regions. And as I said, if you get off the plane in one of these places and go into shops, restaurants, anywhere where people are, people may say these things to you and they will be meaning to say hello. These phrases will all be a greeting. So if you can learn these phrases, you will be ready and you won't be confused in the very first sentence of a conversation, which is probably the worst place to be confused. So I hope this is helpful for you today. I hope this prepares you well 
for speaking English in an English-speaking country. Don't forget, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, click subscribe to get my next videos.